my um, project for the Shabby Chic um, collab that we're doing th for this month and I think probably for the next couple of months organised again by Jane, the Crafting Shed Davis and there's quite a few of us joining in this time so um, I'll leave all the other ladies that are taking part in the description box below now this is the project that I've come up with um, and this one literally was by accident because I pulled out all my Christmas stuff and when I say all I mean not very much of it I don't keep a lot of um, Christmas dies, stamps etc in my stash because I don't over the last um, I don't know maybe eight years or so I haven't really done Christmas cards or made much for Christmas um, and there is a story behind that but um, I'll come back to that another time um, now then this is my project it's literally it's just a repurposed box so literally this just is a box and what I'm going to use it for is for keeping all my dies and stamps and things that I do have in there after Christmas when I finish making whatever Christmas things I'm going to make um, they're going to go in this box now now I'll be the first to admit I really I'm not confident with shabby chic because you know I, well I, I just don't know enough about it I'm, I'm not sure I'm not confident with it so but this is what I've come up with now this is um, like a shaker it's a bauble that um, and this is also another little bauble that I got from Lisa at the Crafting Diva I bought those from here a little while ago so I've incorporated a couple of those I've used um, a doily die um, Sweet Dixie doily die to make a gold doily just to pop in the background um, I've got a little bulb pin with some tiny little bells that I got from Andrea um, they were in the embellishment box swap that we did so I've just popped a few of those on there and that's those um, I painted the box, the bottom of the box obviously with this um, gold metallic paint it's not very good paint I have to be honest but given that this is a shabby chic project you know the little bits of white showing is fair enough really and then I cut out from glitter foam pink glitter foam I, I cut out some um, poinsettias and just pop those on there's some jingle bells there I don't know if they'll jingle anyway there they go so there to go they were just to go on there I just um, raveled up some string and just loosely piled that on to go under the poinsettias and then I just tied a little bow with some it's almost it's tinsel but almost like an eyelash yarn type of tinsel and there's a little holly leaf there but you know I put that much white gesso on after it had done it sort of disappeared really um, so and then I used two of the um, wooden Merry Christmas things I did one in white and one in the um, the gold colour that is from my little acrylic set and I just put one on top of the just very slightly offset so it looks a little bit you know like snow in the background um, I used a bit of the Nouveau Glimmer Paste, I think it's called, and just did um, quite a few stars up there for, through a stencil. This, um, the background is, I showed you these when I got them last week, is just these um, bauble napkins. So I used one of those to stick on the top of the box. Um, so that was that and then I just um, 
covered the edges of the lid of the box with um, double sided tape and then just pop, just kept winding twine around and then popped a bit of um, the gold ribbon around as well around the middle just to create and, and have a little bow um, so basically that's about it um, as I say I'm not too confident with shabby chic but as you know I always like to have a go at things so that's what I've made for the shabby chic collab um, as I say I will put everybody else's links in the description box below so please do go over um, and have a look at what everybody else has made and as always if the I'm always open to constructive criticism so if there's anything anybody any feedback anybody would like to give I'm always open to it I appreciate it um, and I, I actually welcome it so please do let me know what you think oh and I did use um, just some gilding wax around the you know the gold gilding wax so that just to give a bit more gold to the project so that was that and this will be my little storage box for putting all my little um, Christmas stamps and dies in um, once I've finished using them for this year okay thank you very much for joining me today thank you bye bye